Hello everyone, welcome to Baijus Exam Prep. So today I am going to discuss the concept related to the random process from the subject communication system in the coffee with concept. So this topic is very very important if you are preparing for the gate or any other exam then this particular concept of autocorrelation there will be definitely one question from this concept. So today we are going to discuss about the definition of autocorrelation and its property of autocorrelation. So after studying these concepts you can just go and apply the concepts to solve the questions and let me tell you that this concept by these properties you will see definitely one question in everywhere whenever you solve any ISRO paper, any mark paper, any gate paper you will see that this property is very much helpful. So before starting this session guys uh, this is Saket Verma and I am having more than 13 years teaching experience and uh, I have cracked a different PSU exam as well and my telegram group is also I have mentioned so if you want to uh, discuss anything regarding the today's topic autocorrelation you can comment in the comments uh, comment section also and you can also message me in the telegram group. So let's start with the basic of autocorrelation. So what is autocorrelation whenever we are sending suppose one signal and the same signal we are comparing after some time then we call it as a correlation because we are correlating the same signal after some time delay that is called autocorrelation because like in the radar system if I suppose transmit a signal and that signal will travel some distance it will go to the target it will hit the, hit the target and it will return back to the same station. So the signal which I had transmitted I will keep safe and then this signal which has traveled and come back to me after some time that signal also I will see and I will correlate that signal which I received after some time with the previous signal which I had sent. So correlating these two signals will give us autocorrelation. Here you can see the definition this x of t1 and x of t2. So at time t is equal to t1 I had sent my signal and at time t is equal to t2 I am receiving that signal and I am correlating it that means I am taking the expectation of these two signals and I am getting the autocorrelation. So this is the main definition of autocorrelation and if you suppose because we are talking about the random process so we have the white sense stationary random process and for the white sense stationary random process the autocorrelation when we calculate it is a function of time delay only. So here you can see that whenever the signal is given as a auto uh, white sense stationary process, whenever the process is a white sense stationary process, you can write the autocorrelation x of t, x of t plus tau and when we calculate this particular expected value, we will get the autocorrelation just as a function of time delay. So here you can see this autocorrelation is function of time delay. So this will you get function of time delay and time delay means the time difference between the two time instant T1 and T2 because you have transmitted the signal at T1 and you are receiving the signal at T2. So what is the delay? Suppose I am sending the signal at 5 seconds and I am receiving the signal at 10 seconds. So what is the delay? The delay is of 5 seconds, 10 minus 5. So that is the T2 minus T1 which will give us the time delay. Now coming to the properties of autocorrelation. In the autocorrelation there is very important property that autocorrelation has the maximum value at tau equal to 0. And if you increase the value of tau other than 0 in either side either it is positive or negative the value will be either equal to the value at tau equal to 0 or it will be less than the tau equal to 0. So this is mod of Rx tau less than or equal to 0. So this is one example for this. Here you can see that this is the autocorrelation I have drawn Rx tau. So at tau equal to 0 it has the maximum value and if I increase the value of tau in either side either it is positive or it is negative the value of Rx tau is less than 0. If I calculate at tau equal to 1 you can see this value and the value at 0. So the value at 0 is maximum and this value is less than that or it can be also like this 
okay it can also be like this because we said that it is less than equal to so it can also be equal to the value which is equal to tau equal to 0 so at tau equal to 0 whatever value we get we can have the value equal to tau equal to 0 as well but after some time it will be eventually less than the tau equal to 0 so either it may be equal to tau equal to 0 otherwise it will be less than tau equal to 0 so this is our first property the second property says that the autocorrelation always follows the even symmetry and if we calculate the uh, autocorrelation at tau equal to 0 that gives us a mean square value or the total average power of the signal that is also give us the mean square value autocorrelation cannot have any arbitrary shape because it follows these even symmetric conditions and it will have a some proper shape and if suppose the random process is periodic then its autocorrelation will also have periodic uh, we can say if the autocorrelation have any periodic component then it will also have the uh, same time period as the our random process has so if random process x of t has the periodic component then autocorrelation function will also be the periodic with the same period and the last one is when we calculate the autocorrelation when the tau tends to infinity we get the value of dc power that is the mean whole square so when the limit t tau tends to infinity rx tau this is the mean value and this is nothing but the whole square of mean so if we calculate the square value of mean it gives us a dc power and it is only valid for which kind of process it is valid for the ergodic process right so this is the basic concept of the autocorrelation so this is i wanted to discuss in the coffee with concept and now you also should know that uh, trichopedia we are starting where we are going to give you the trick like this autocorrelation concept we have discussed and uh, now i will be discussing in this trichopedia a very small trick to solve the question using this property like that we will give you the number of tricks till your gate exam and you will have a wikipedia kind of the trichopedia where you have the dictionary of all the concepts and tricks and there is a very important news for all of you the, those who are preparing for gate 24 they can uh, have this workshop because it's a very interactive workshop it's going to take by the abhinav Deghi sir and on 13th of june 7 30 pm so you can register yourself from the link which is given in the description don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video thank you we will meet with the next coffee with